Welcome to Spirit School. My name is Danielle Serenk, also known as the Squamish Medium. I am the host of your Spirit School, where I will share all the lessons and learnings that I have uncovered through my intuitive development and mediumship development journey. I am a professional psychic and medium and intuitive teacher and mentor, and I look forward to walking alongside you on this journey. Hello and welcome to Spirit School. Thank you for joining me. It's been a few weeks since I've recorded my last podcast. I have had family visiting from across the world in New Zealand and so I have just been spending time with them as much as possible while they're here and yeah just waiting for inspirations from Spirit on what shall I talk about today. And today I wasn't planning on doing a podcast. I think I say that almost every episode because I truly don't keep a schedule of any kind. Uh, But Spirit was inspiring me to talk about not being consistent with your spiritual practice and how when it comes to spiritual development and intuitive development, consistency is not key. Now, I loved it when that came through for me today because you know, I'm working right now on my nutrition and eating for energy and changing the way I look at food and my relationship with food um, and moving my body consistently um, with my Fitbit. And so when it comes to these other areas of our holistic wellness, consistency is absolutely key. So when this came through, I kind of gave myself a chuckle. I'm like, you're not going to make me talk about something controversial, are you? And I found it to be, pardon me, quite funny. So when spirit was inspiring me on this today, I'm like, well, what do you mean consistency is not key? And this is what really came through. And this is going to be a really short podcast episode. I just really wanted to hop on and give you the inspirations while they were coming through. But the truth of the matter is I hear constantly from students and people on my Instagram and even just friends who we have intuitive abilities um, in common and I constantly hear people really being guilty and guilting themselves about not sticking consistently to their development practice, whether that means they stop pulling cards for themselves or they stopped, you know, reading books that were self-help related, um, or focusing on intuitive development, or they stopped watching the YouTube people that they like, or the Instagram people that they like, and then they start feeling guilty, and then there's this psychological thing that happens where, well, maybe spirit's pulling me away from this area, or, you know, maybe I'm not meant to be doing this right now, and here's the real truth, okay? The real truth is spirit wants us to live our lives. They encourage us to read different books, to check out different shows, to find hobbies that are outside of this spiritual path. Because the truth is we signed up for human experience and they want us to live our human experience. Another thing too that I found really fascinating was um, anytime I have taken a break from my mediumship practice, that means pretty much stop giving readings for a while and I do that every couple months I'll stop for a little bit and then once a year I'll stop for two months and that's just part of my wellness plan but I'm six years in so I know my own cycles but every time I stop and I just focus on you know devotion or just focus on my family or focus on my career uh, you know my day job career or just focus on my health, like maybe I want to pick up like a six-week running program, so I'm just kind of focusing on that and reading about that. Anytime I step back into that service role and I step back into giving readings for people, I kid you not, my readings are so much more clear, so much easier, I'm thinking about them a lot less, I'm just rocking in and just trusting and things get a lot stronger for me. So one of the realizations that I've had around this is that we truly need those integration times to integrate all that we have consumed when it comes to the spiritual path. And so we'll need to have this downtime of rest to have our soul seep in all that we have experienced. So there's a coach that I really like on Instagram called Ryan Nikomi. Now he's a bit out there. He's a big conspiracy theorist, which is also why I love his Instagram page because he has all these conspiracy theories about the education system and the financial system and the government, of course. And I find that stuff all kind of fascinating. Um, But he 
has runs a very successful coaching business and he has the schedule that's kind of like a dream schedule to me. It's not applicable because I do have a day job, but he works three weeks and takes the fourth week off every single month and he calls it his integration week. So he doesn't take any client coaching calls. He doesn't run his mastermind that week. He'll literally just do things that he loves, which is like running, biking, swimming, you know, cleaning his car. He's obsessed with his car. And then he's able to come back into his service mindset in a much more powerful and centered and focused way. And I think that there's a lot of truth to that. And I have found from my personal experience, anytime I step back into that role, it's very powerful. It's very, very powerful. Sometimes we feel, especially early on, that if we stop, spirit's going to think that we're not interested anymore. They're going to kind of like step away or not come through as clear. And that is absolutely not the truth. And one time I was in Mavis Patilla, if you don't know her, I would Google her. She's one of the world's most famous mediums, but I did a week-long workshop with her when she was in Vancouver a few years ago. And she told us at the end of the class, she's like, please mediums, read books outside of mediumship. And the reason for that is, is because spirit works with our world of reference. And she's like, open up your reference library, read a romance novel, watch a romantic comedy film. Like, go to an amusement park and have some fun and laugh with your family. Because, and I took this to heart, and I did that because up until that point, I was only reading books by mediums. I was only reading spiritual books. I was only reading about chakras and angels and crystals. Like, it was all I was consuming. So then I got really into Philippa Gregory novels. (laughs) Um, I'm obsessed with the royal family, going back to the Tudors, um, even the Plantagenets, and so she has all these book series on those uh, people in that history time. And so I got obsessed and I read into her entire series, or listened to them on Audible, and I can't tell you how many times I will read a book that has nothing to do with spirituality or mediumship, and the next reading, sure enough, a name's going to come up, a situation's going to come up, a saying's going to come up, a quote... And it's based off of what I had just experienced that had nothing to do with the spiritual path. It's very powerful and it's very, very, very true. So what I really want to say today around this message is please don't guilt yourself. Please don't get down on yourself if you're finding you're in a phase of your life, especially during summer when we just kind of want to be outside, that you're not, you know, dedicating, and I'm putting that in air quotes, to the spiritual path or to your spiritual development. Rest, integrate, have some fun, relax with it. Spirit knows your next few moves before you even do. So rest assured that whenever you feel ready to step back into it, they will be there 10,000%, even more powerful. You'll be able to feel them more clearly. And just trust it has no indication on who you are as a spirit or where you're at in your spiritual path. You know, I'm six years in, I'm a professional medium now, and I still, still take time off. And I've learned now over the years to stop guilting myself about it. And it is because I've been validated that things get a lot clearer when you just step away for a bit and live your human life and experience. So, so all in all, integration, expand your reference library for people who are doing professional readings, and just be kind to yourself and have some fun. So when it comes to the intuitive path and it comes to spiritual development, consistency is not key. What's really key is that you focus on living your human life and your human experience. And you learn to navigate the guilt that comes from some deep-seated and rooted experience that you would have had in this life or another. And just learn to forgive yourself and be kind to yourself and allow yourself to express in the way that your soul and your body and your spirit is yearning for. So I hope that this was really helpful. Again, a super short episode. Um, And let me know what you think. So you can share it with your friends. And if you share it, tag me on Instagram at Squamish Medium or hashtag Spirit School. And I hope that this message hit your soul today. And enjoy the last few weeks of summer. I have three interviews lined up. I am interviewing Melissa White again. We're going to be talking about past lives, and I'm really excited about that. That's a request that came through. I'm going to be interviewing a beautiful medium in Colorado named Lindsay, 
um, we'll share a story about how we connected. It's actually quite hilarious, but she's a wonderful medium and astrologer. And then there was a beautiful Cree woman um, in northern Alberta that I got a reading from this week, which was one of the most clear and accurate readings I've ever had. Um, she does soul portraits, so she actually draws your reading out, and then she pulls you some cards. And so I'm going to be interviewing her in September, and she wants to talk about raising psychic children. That's her area of interest. So, so all those are coming up on the podcast, and I thank you for listening. I know there's a lot of options out there, and I appreciate you stopping by my little podcast. All right, have a good one, guys.